Hey guys, welcome to another tour. Gilbert Patino here and Manny Patino behind the camera. So we're gonna look at a, a very nice home that is uh, listed by us. So as you could tell, uh, we do a lot of listings here in Las Cruces and a lot of new homes. So if you have listings, if you have a home that you wanna list, give us a call. Uh, very nice landscaping here. They did a good job with the uh, spread and layout of the plants. As you can see, they're desert plants, which is nice because you don't have to water them too much. Plus, they're under a drip system. Uh, vases that they added to the home, which are included with the home. Another feature I want to show you is this zero lot line. So the, the home was pushed all the way to the line of the, the home. So this is where your home ends. And that was done so you can have plenty of room on the other side for parking or if you need to pull up a vehicle. And let me, uh, let me show you that so you can see what I'm talking about. So, neat thing is you have a double gate. So you can pull up your vehicle to the back if you need to. There's plenty of room for that. Gilbert, in the mountain views, I see them from here. Oh, this spectacular. Is, uh, so this, is, this home is about a year old. A year old, uh, a under bit. a year old, many. And then another thing is you have plenty of parking up in the front. So you, you don't have, technically you don't have front yard neighbors. And then tile roof. And then you have high quality uh, coach lights here in the front as well. Very well designed. I mean, the builder did an amazing job. Yeah. And it's moving ready. I it mean, is. Somebody can come in and just move in. You don't have to landscape anything. The pool is already there. It's got a pool cover. I mean, that's one thing I can't wait to show. The backyard is just very nice. Um, I mean, people will see it. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a pristine house, to be honest. Uh, it's very rare when we get to see something like this, but uh, it's amazing. Even here, you could tell they painted the ceiling here and the light, very high quality as well. So you got your eight foot door. And what's neat about it is this is a knotty alder wood. So it, it comes from the alder tree. And it's nice for this type of climate because it's a very dry wood and it doesn't uh, really warp or anything. And it's not as heavy too. That's why I like Naughty Alder. Yeah, it is very light. And you can see just by opening the door. I'll let you go in first, Manny. Gosh, the colors in here are very nice. Yeah, they did a really good job with the color combinations. Uh, you can really combine it with anything. Uh, look at the lighting detail up there. It's very elegant lighting feature. You got your window here. It's a good size window. Uh, you can always see outside. And you have the blinds for nighttime. Eight foot door. And you have the borders as well. So, so it's a big, a big foyer. Right? Big you foyer. Uh, again, it's nice because it's, it's tile. And you have the tile trim. What's nice is, I don't know if you can zoom in, but you're going to see the rounded corners. That takes a lot of work. And Gilbert, off in the front of the home, you have your uh, half bath here. Yeah. So, yeah, so you have your visitor bath, which is uh, right next to the living area. Right next to the living area, the entrance. They don't have to use the bedroom bathrooms. Um, very neat. Yeah, and it's nice because here you could see you have a Jack and Jill. This is an actual Jack and Jill. Uh, you're going to see, see that in a minute. It's about a maybe 11 by 11, so it's a good sized room. Fan, a ceiling fan, a good size window with the lavalier uh, blinds. And again, the naughty alder wood in the sliding uh, closet doors as well. Yeah, not very many people go to that extent. Not many builders go to that extent of putting naughty alder in the closet doors. Yep. It's just a lot of wood looks makes it look very natural, very nice. It does. It, it, this is a very uh, Western style home and you're gonna see uh, the naughty alder wood all around the home, including in the kitchen, which I can't wait to show you. It looks amazing. Uh, again, uh, wood here. And what's neat is you got a pocket door here. It's, again, naughty alder wood, pocket door, very good quality. Well, I think this is a, a really nice feature. So you got your tile that goes all the way up, but you have uh, that rounded style up there and, and you don't see that very often because it's really difficult and uh, it's very expensive yeah it's difficult to make it i mean you we go to a lot of new homes and we don't see that too often not too often so, and then you have the the privacy glass as well i'm huge on attention to detail gilbert 
I, when I go look at a home, um, a new home or a custom home, anything, I really look at the small details because that's what a lot of people miss. Yeah, that is what a lot of people miss. And uh, what's nice is you, you have your very high quality granite piece here with the rounded edges, the undermount, uh, undermounted sink. More naughty alder cabinets. More uh, naughty alder cabinets. I like with, the bronze hardware. Yeah, with the bronze hardware, uh, it matches perfectly. Um, with the frame de mirror. And like I mentioned, the Jack and Jill, this is a normal door, not gonna be a pocket door, but still the same wood. Uh, a good size window, it's a good size room as well, which is nice. Uh, again, the wood on in the closet as well. Ceiling fan, and uh, it, the way it's laid out is perfect. So it's not really the long ways, it's kind of like an L-shaped. So you got both rooms uh, right next to each other and the bathroom in the middle. It's cool because it works both ways. If you have a family or if you're retired, I mean, it, it's still it's still really good. I mean, the, the design is very good. Yeah, yeah, it's a very well designed home. Did you see the, the tile color, Gilbert? This is, I always tell people, this is easy to clean color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it, I think that's a good feature that a lot of people don't notice as well. It's, you know, everyone likes the whites and the, you know, dark colors, but this is right in, right in the middle. It's not too light, not too dark. So it's perfect to, uh, for, so you for can, to maintain you can cleanliness. Design, you can design very modern, right? You can design more southwest if you like and it's going to work out either way yeah either way um cabinets in the laundry room you got your cabinets here with the soft clothes and they're nice naughty alder wood uh, with the crown molding and you got plenty of room for the washer and dryer money and what's amazing is you have this huge sink here it's not one of those little tiny ones where you can barely fit your hands it's actually good size with the matching granite I hear a lot of people, rather than calling it sink, they call it a dog wash. <laughs> a dog wash. So if you have a nice small dog, it definitely, you can fit your Shih Tzu in there. Yeah, for all those Shih Tzus and Yorkies. Let's take a look at the garage again. Not the older wood. It, it, it's just, a, it's nice. This is an oversized two-car garage. It is oversized and uh, maybe not noticeable immediately, but it, uh, we'll, I'll point it out in a sec. Uh, Again, so you have your HVAC and uh, the water heater as well. What's nice about this, Manny, is you have your recirculating pump. Keeps the hot water running throughout the home. So instant hot water helps you save water and, and uh, energy as well. You got your soft water system here as well, which is nice. And plenty of lighting. I mean, it's technically, you don't see that in, in homes. You have three lights. Very well, bright usually, lights. Usually we have to open the garage to get enough lighting in a garage. Yeah, usually we do. Nicely lit up. It's fully painted. It nicely, it's technically finished. So most garages end here. So you got an extra three, two, three feet here to the sides on both ends. So you can easily fit two vehicles and you don't have to, you know, be squishing yourself to get out of your vehicle. Plenty of room. So yeah. this is a full-size car. It fits here, no problem. Yeah, no problem, as you can see, no issue. And then you got plenty of room over here for storage for a motorcycle, plenty of space there. Now let's move on, Manny. Now to the good stuff, Gilbert. So, this is, these are the <laughs> nicest areas of the home, I believe. Oh yeah. Living area, a really good size. It's a very open concept. You got high ceilings with a good ceiling design. Uh, as you can see, you have a, I have the fireplace uh, on the corner, which is I think it's a, it, it serves its purpose, and it's nice because it's it's not an LED or it's not one of those fake fireplaces. It's an actual fireplace that you can just turn on with a switch. And if you're not going to use it in the summer or whatever, you can always take the uh, plate off and disconnect it and turn it off. Very nice. And yeah. it's a full gas fireplace. I mean, it just right now it's it's warm in here. You yeah, know, it's, we, it's warm. Yeah, it, it heats up this whole room. No problem. And like you mentioned earlier, uh, look at the colors here. There, You got your light browns, animal skins, and it matches perfectly with the home. Even if you had the lighter colors 
or the blacks, it will still match very nicely. Well, you're, you're gonna see in the primary room, they have more modern colors yeah. and it still goes very well. It with does. The, with the colors and the finishes of this home. It does now. Let me show you the this gorgeous kitchen. So again, with the granite, matching granite, uh, with the rounded edges, looks very clean, very good sized island. You have your composite granite sink, very high quality. It's, you know, big sink and you have your garbage disposal switch on the top. So you don't have to be focusing or trying to get down here and, and getting everything in your face. And when I, when I mention attention to detail, Gilbert, I want people to see the, the grates that they installed right in that sink. Yeah. You don't need them with composite granite. Not you really this. don't because it's really hard to scratch, but the builder said, hey, let's do it anyway, because I want this home to last. Yeah. They took the time to actually put it in there and do that. Uh, you have two, uh, two pendant lights, which look amazing. And look at this, you have a Java station here, or your coffee station, or you can even put wine. It's nice, it's a good, uh, good addition to have in your home. And those are Naughty Alder wood cabinets as well? Naughty Alder wood cabinets all around the kitchen and with a, a nice crown molding to it as well and matching. And look at this subway tile. Clean, very clean look, matches again with, it's a light color, matches perfectly with all of this. Uh, your push-in five burner uh, stove and your microwave. And they even chose um, good brands, Frigidaire Gallery. Yeah, they did. Uh, very good, good brands. And one of the things I like the most is you don't have this big plate here in the back that you know covers uh, the wall. It, it just get, looks very clean, very uh, sleek look. You get to see your backsplash. That's yeah, nice. you do. Looks very nice. Um, so. It's a good size. It's, a, in my opinion, it's a very big dining area. You got a very western, a western style chandelier. Looks very clean. Looks very elegant, but but still at the same time western look. Uh, you got two big operable windows. Uh, I mean, this is a good size. Uh, Again, we see the swimming pool from here. <laughs> wait till we go. Yeah, you got okay. you got to wait, man. But lavalier uh, blinds as well on this side. So lavalier blinds throughout the home, except here. Um, and I know I, I wanted to point this out earlier, but I actually did a really good job with the positioning of the curtains. I like that. So really good sized door as well. It's bigger than average, Gilbert. It uh, is. Some of the homes we've done videos on before, they have smaller doors than this. Yeah, they do. So this this sliding door is bigger and it has a screen too. It has a screen. It's eight feet. I mean, it's it's nice. You see that Nicho right in yeah, front. Yeah, you of got me? your Nicho right here in the front. She's got nice decorations there. It's very Western style. And look at the, the the light colors. Very modern mix with the Western dec uh, with the Western style. So you can go modern. You can go Western style. You can go browns. You can go any color you want, and it's gonna work out. That's gonna look amazing. Yeah, and. Look at these huge windows. You got three huge windows, two operable, uh, one non-operable that looks straight into the back patio. How cool is that? I don't think I've ever, well, I've seen a few homes like that, but they they hit it right on the mark with this one. So this is a really well-placed and well-designed primary room. Tile in here too. Fully tile tiled, well. no carpet anywhere in the home. Yeah. You have your tile trim everywhere. Yeah, so tile trim. So if you, you like to mop or you like to use a Swiffer, uh, you can easily use that and not damage the wall or the, any of the wood. That's very yeah. nice. That's a nice feature. I'm, I'm more of a mop, mopping guy, so. Yeah, I agree. So let me show you the primary bathroom. Uh, again, the layout is incredible. It's a very well laid out bathroom. So you got your two frame mirrors and your double sink. So you got your sconces as well, it looks nice, but you have plenty of natural light because of the skylight. And look at this great feature here, it's the Snell entrance shower. And it's a large shower as well. Oh yeah, I mean this is, I mean look, you got plenty of space here, it's huge. Um, it, you have your nichos here and a very good quality shower head. Perfect lighting in here. It's not too bright, not too dark. You got your uh, seating bench there. And, and look at the, uh, what is that? Glass, glass tile, Manny. The glass band is, is a nice feature. You know, I always wondered why they didn't do tile in the ceiling of the showers, and this is 
I mean, it is possible. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and then look at cobblestone flooring, looks great. So a linen closet, really close to the closet, which is good. And then this closet is, is big. And what's nice, uh, right above me and on the other side, they added an extra shelf on the top for storage. It's a really good closet. You have plenty of space to do something like this, somewhere you could sit and put on your shoes or um, etc. But plenty of space in the closet. It's a big closet. Yeah, you even have a cutout over here for for more stuff. Yeah, this is they did an amazing job with this build. Now let's let's go check out the pool. I think I've been we've been talking about that <laughs> since we got here. We gotta we gotta show them the pool. You know, the very light door. So this is what I call an easy maintenance backyard, easy maintenance pool. You can even almost say no maintenance. I mean, yeah. you just, we just have to be careful with how we say it, right? But... <laughs> That's right. Plenty of lighting out here in the uh, back patio. Coach lights uh, just looks great. And then, I mean, this patio is huge, man. You got all this side and this side as well. You can use it to put, uh, have seating space and pretty much anything you would like. So let's go look at the pool. Let's um, check out the pool. I actually want you to open, I mean, close the cover. Mm -hmm. We'll go look at the pool, you can close the cover. Let's go look at it first, and that way people can see. Um, so actually the, the owners of the home chose the colors of the pool, they chose the color of the tile, they chose the design, so you can see they have the jacuzzi. Yeah, uh, I like it, it's, it's a dual, uh, it's a dual pool, <laughs> if you want to call it. It's a dual, uh, it's a jacuzzi pool combo. And, and it's nice because it has a child's pad. So if you have you know, smaller kids, they could play here. And then you have the deeper ends on this side. And the colors are amazing. I mean, I like how, how it combines, I guess, with the, with the area. And you're standing in the sun deck. They even did an extra sun deck there. So you have more space for sunbathing and whatnot. Yeah. And yeah, what I can't get over is the mountain views mountain views and then let me check let me show you this before we we close the pool cover you have this extra space in the back which is part of your property and you have a gate that goes to it you have a gate that goes to it but i mean the mountain views are incredible so for a lot of people that haven't um, seen any of our videos and haven't seen las cruces we really love our oregon mountain views Everyone wants mountain views. We don't have beach views or anything like that, but we have mountain views and that's something everyone wants to have. But let me uh, go ahead and, and so open you're the- You're gonna be doing it with a, a press of a button, pretty much? Pretty much, yeah. That's nice, I mean, you just, you leave on vacation, you're not gonna use it for a while. You just cover it. You don't have to worry about leaves and mosquitoes or any of that getting into your pool. That's right. I mean, it's quick access. You don't have to be uh, manually cranking it. It's with the push of a button, really simple. And it's a, a good quality as well. You have the um, aluminum as well. That's good. Let's go look at the site. I want to show people the, the pool system and how it works. And also that is brand new. Yeah, brand new pool system. So you were pushing buttons right here? So right? yeah, the, you have your lights here and then your your buttons to open and close the pool. And you're gonna see stuff like this for code. Um, they're really good with that. You have your blower here. If you want bubbles, that's that's what produces them. And you have a heater here, which is it's very simple to use. It's really not difficult at all. Uh, you have your filter here in the back. So it's so, a brand, brand new system. I mean, is, there's nothing. I think the pool itself is maybe two, two months old or something. Yeah, maybe a few months old. It's, it's very, very new. Um, and also the backyard landscaping, zero maintenance. There's no bushes, no trees. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can add some because I believe this home has a drip system that runs along the side. Okay. So if you do want to add trees or bushes, they can do that. And if you want to leave it like this, you can. I mean, no it's, more ingress. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. It, you can always add plants if you would like, but let me show you this as well. Zero lot line. You got this house here on your side. So you don't have to worry about, you know, windows or anyone looking into your backyard. But as you can see, there's a road behind your home. So no, no backyard neighbors directly behind you. Um, but 
Uh, this is an amazing uh, home. They did a really good job. And I think I'm gonna rank this one of my favorites. But thank you guys for joining us for another video and we'll hope to see you soon.